The Week That Was on InfoLive TV. I'm Margot Dutkevich. Security threats, efforts to jumpstart the peace process and Pesach are some of the issues we covered this week. On Sunday, German Chancellor Angela Merkel visited the region in an effort to push the peace process forward. Merkel promised to become more involved and try and secure the release of three IDF soldiers held captive in Lebanon and Gaza. InfoLive TV visited the international food market in Tel Aviv and discovered the truth of Israeli cuisine, the tastes and the sights. Prime Minister Ehud Olmert declared that he believes within five years there will be a regional peace in the Middle East. Granting interviews to the nation's networks on the eve of Pesach, Olmert failed to even mention the three IDF soldiers held captive. InfoLive TV took to the streets of Jerusalem and interviewed citizens on their Pesach preparations. U.S. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi put her foot in it and generated harsh criticism from her buddies back at home. Visiting Syria where she met with President Bashar Assad, Pelosi said Israel is keen to renew talks with Syria. Meanwhile, InfoLive interviewed Ahmad Zakur, a member of Knesset member Ahmad Tibi's party and asked why Tibi attended a rally in Janine marking five years since Operation Defensive Shield. Hundreds of armed Palestinians participated in the rally. The Winograd Committee on Wednesday petitioned the High Court to prevent the publishing of testimonies on the Second Lebanon War before it concludes its investigation. According to sources, the committee may ask for the government's resignation. InfoLive went to the streets of Jerusalem and asked its Christian residents how they intend to celebrate Easter. After two weeks of frenzied negotiations, the 15 British sailors return home. President Ahmadinejad made the surprised announcement of their release on Wednesday. Prime Minister Tony Blair told the Iranian people, we bear you no ill will. At the Ramat Gan Safari, Yossi, the male African elephant, attacked Atari, a female elephant, slamming her into the yard's wall where she fell and died. Staff at the safari said it appears Yossi felt threatened by Atari. That is all for the week that was. You can view numerous videos and stories on our website at infolive.tv that brings you a taste of Israel with a difference.